with this, is there a reason for that other than aesthetics? Or? Um, stability. Stability. You know, I do switch the, the pieces. Um, like if I was to, and I probably will do that with these, it'll get ripped down the middle and then it'll get ripped so that I have pieces that are, you know, that width, but they will get flipped. Yeah. And then also the ebony, of course, it goes all the way through. I don't know if I've got a... It is seven pieces. Gotcha. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't pull up much, you know. I mean, if, uh, at all. Like if I set the action height with the strings just kind of snug, you know. I mean, not not pulled up the pitch. Oh, and then I bring it up to pitch after I got it set. It doesn't really change. Yeah. seems to have a little bit faster response to it.
can tell the harmonics, you know, mm -hmm. like the, the overtones are, mm -hmm. they just take off one. Partly so. that's the back and partly it's the strings too. Yeah. separation of voices too, you know. So. Sixty-fourth of an inch in between the the edges, so mm -hmm. it's a sixty-fourth of an inch rise here and a sixty-fourth of an inch rise here, and so forth. So it's a conical shape, and then it's at the seventh fret on the treble side. It's uh, mixing inches and millimeters here, but it's 0.2 millimeters uh, uh, relief at the seventh fret on the treble side and 0.28 millimeters. Uh, on the bass side. And without the CNC router, I wouldn't be able to do that on a consistent basis. Yeah. Um, then I have a, a call that I clamp it on with that has that same shape into it. So if I clamp it into it, it comes out yeah. the same. Yeah, the response is different. 